Hey, how's it going guys? It's Merck here from LogicStars.com and today, as always, we're working in Logic and today I'm working with a template. It's a template called Melodic House by LogicStars.com. This is kind of a unique template, the only template by Logic Stars that uses all loops. Uh, there's no MIDI in this. And this was created as a response uh, to a lot of requests. Um, that we got. So we put together one template that's just chock full of loops and uh, you can see things looped around on here. It's a mini template because it's not quite as fully fleshed out as our full templates which are pretty much complete in every way from mastering and everything. This one leaves a little bit more space to your imagination, your creativity to, to go nuts with it. And it's done for loops, for people who like working with loops. Now if you've worked with loops uh, in tunes before one of the issues that comes up is trying to get things to not sound so samey. You know, instead of it sounding like a repeating loop and, and losing interest over time, you want to try to spice things up as much as possible. And there's a couple of tricks in here, in this template, that are being used to, to add some spice to it so you don't have the same static loops over and over. Uh, for example, we're using uh, track automation, which we'll get into in another, in another video, actually. But you can see there's, there's automation in various places. And we're using something kind of cool here. I want to show you. This is a very underused feature of Logic, and it's the speed up slowdown feature. And I really don't know. I don't understand why more people don't use this because it's awesomely cool, to be honest with you. Uh, it sounds great. It's very easy to use. I guess the only reason I can think of is that it's difficult to find because Logic in their wisdom has chosen to place the speed up and slow down feature in a very weird place. And here's where it's located. Now notice the base right here, the orange, what looks like a fade in. That's actually a speed up. Um, and they've actually put it in the fade in menu right here. Check it out. Over here on the side, you'll see speed up. I can convert that over and it becomes a regular fade. And you'll see right here, it looks just like a normal fade. Now, if I switch it to speed up, it just turns orange. And I've got a value set of 424 on this. Now, this is a bass part. So, what we're doing here, this is the introduction of the bass. And where it comes in, we're speeding up into it. So, you get this nice kind of ripping sound, you know, kind of thing. I can't do it. Check it See what you think. So it's just a nice little subtle touch. Let's do it one more time. Just a nice little subtle thing to add some variety. And when you're working with loops, you want to get as much detail as you can because you know you don't want to avoid that static loop kind of sound usually, right? So this is a cool way to do it, and it's dead simple to use. You just basically go to the fade in, fade out menu and just choose uh, speed up. Now by the same token, I'm going to show you on the same track later on, we've got a, a slowdown instead of a speed up. Let me find this thing. Uh, there's another speed up right there. Here's a slowdown on the bass right here. I'm just creating a, a different kind of vibe here. And you can see it there. Just looks like an orange fade out, right? Okay, let me switch this over. Uh, here's where it's located right here. See slow down, it's on the fade menu. It's under fade out. Just switch it to slow down. And I've got a value set of 984, a little bit longer fade out here. Check it out. Okay, that's just a special effect done there. It's actually used one other time with a shorter value right here. Just a slight fade out here. Oh, sorry, slow down. Check that out. Listen to that one more time. It's very subtle, but it makes a difference to your loops because it's a little bit of change. Check out what the, how the bass just kind of dives down a teeny bit right at the end. It's a nice little detail to add to, uh, to synth bass parts just to get some variety, especially when you're working with static audio like loops. Now I'm going to show you a more extreme example of what you can do with the slowdown feature here. And this comes at the end of the track. We actually have three different tracks set to pretty much the same value on a slowdown. You see there's a kick track, uh, there's a break beat, and the string track. Check it out. Here it comes. So you get a nice kind of lo-fi record slowdown there. Simple as anything to do, just select the track, the part that you're doing, the region here, and uh, 
come on over, select slow down, and select a value. In this case, we've got 4564. And to get that record sound, we put it on other tracks as well. So the break has the same value. The string was changed slightly because of the way that part moves. It seemed to work out fine. So that's a more extreme example of doing something with the speed up, slow down. But there's a lot of good subtle uses for it with drums, with bass parts, synths, all kind of things. So I think more people should be using the speed up slow down. It's really cool. It adds a nice little spice. Play around with it. Have some fun. You'll come up with some cool stuff. All right, guys. Next time we're going to be taking a look at a, a full-fledged template. Uh, this one, like I said, is a mini template. I'm going to play a little bit more to kind of play us out here. And uh, next time we'll be taking a look at a hard trance uh, template called Platinum Trance, one of my favorites. Uh, for now, this is Melodic House, and I'll just play it out from, eh, let's say about here. All right, guys. Peace out. Take care. Thank you.